In today's video, we are going to talk about some interesting facts and myths about the Ross Cat. The Ross Cat is a native animal on the Indonesian island of Ross in East Java. The Ras Cat is also known as a Busak or Buso Madura Cat. It is said that the Ross Cat is from a pure breed line without mixed genes from other cat races. However, this cat is not yet recognized by Tika as a cat breed. The Ross Cat is a breed of elegant felines. It has physical characteristics very similar to a jungle cat or a leopard. These cats have a graceful look with a size larger than most of the other cat breeds in general. The face of the Ross is a little squarish shape. They have dark green eyes with an oval shape that is not too wide. The shape of the skull is roundish, with the chin being slightly tapered, while the ears are erect, pointy, and long. Compared to most of the other common breeds, the tail of these cats is conspicuously long with a slightly bent edge. Here are some of the interesting facts about the Ross cat, which will give you some further insight into its characteristics and temperament. 1. Ross Cat's History and Development The Ross Cat is a breed of domestic cats that evolved in Madura and the Ross Island of Indonesia. They are so primitive that, there have been numerous local myths and tales about them, one of which is very strange. It says that these felines have a sixth sense and can only be maintained by a certain group of people like clerics, officials, and community leaders. Another myth tells a different story. It says, if these cats are taken away to the other islands by a boat piloted by unmarried people, the boat will sink. In addition to these myths, people also believe that, if the Ross cat is taken out of the island of Ross, the people who carry it will get bad luck. Ross is a cat whose beginning is unknown. But these are a very pure and original breed devoid of genes mixed from other breeds, yet, have a high genetic variation. Most likely the cat is formed naturally. According to the Australian feline expert Lastly Morgan, the Ross cats, especially those with a prominent bluish hue, have originated from the race Korat, the famous breed that is extensively spread across Thailand. Some sources have also mentioned that these cats have originated from the Asian race, which is evitable from the shape of its tail since its bent tail tip is a trait common to many Asian breeds of cats. 2. Ross Cat's Physical Characteristics This is a medium-sized cat that has the looks of a leopard or jungle cat. They have a body size larger than the average cat. Their dark green eyes are embedded in a square head. The tail is of medium size and bends at the end. The color of the coat is a plain solid color with blue, gray, or chocolate hue. Brown is also possible but very rarely. 3. Ross Cat's Temperament and Personality Ross Cats are energetic and playful but are apparently afraid of humans, and sometimes find it difficult to adapt themselves. But once they get tamed, you will surely fall in love with them all over again, when they stare at you with their kind, mesmerizing eyes. But, unlike most other cats, these cats do not want to work just for the sake of pleasing their owners. So, irrespective of the fact that how much they are appreciated for their good jobs, it will not really motivate them. It is the responsibility of the owners to search for ways of motivating them. Training the Ross would need some innovation and loads of patience since they might show a stubborn and grumpy attitude at times. These cats, with a primitive modality, are basically moody, and hence, it is almost impossible to affirm that the methods that worked earlier for these cats will also work now. Since the Ross cats had initially been bred for the purpose of hunting vermin, it is now considered a domestic cat with a primitive streak after years of domestication. It would be wise for the owners to train this cat with all patience. It is also advisable not to apply the training methods of dogs on these felids since it would not be very much successful. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. 4. Ross Cat's Grooming Groom them at least once or twice weekly by brushing their coats with a soft brush. This is important in order to retain the natural gloss of their typical dark colored coat. You should also brush their teeth to ward of possibilities of common feline dental issues like tartar buildup. Trim their nails when they outgrow the size of their paws. 5. Ross Cat's Training and Exercise Ross Cats fall into the domestic cat category. People on Ross Island and nearby areas keep them as pets. The cats, however, have strong personalities that don't bend easily to human commands. They don't like to take orders from anyone. With a playful, zealous demeanor, these cats need lots of exercise for healthy living. Keep them free all day and let them play all day all around your house and remain active, making sure, they do not get a chance to move out of your house. You can also take them out for a daily walk. A leash is recommended when you take them outdoors, which is for their wild, rustic nature. Without a leash you might lose control over your Ross, 
since their instinct might easily prompt them to get lost in the wild wild, chasing some rodents or vermins. Begin your training sessions like litter leash and obedience as early as possible, while it's still young. But never pamper your kitten giving in to its demands since this might eventually lead to serious behavior issues. Be in command over your cat, but never be rude during training, since it would only end in creating a distance between you and your Ross. It would be effective if you would generously allow them to play games with cat toys, and involve them in learning to fetch and retrieving tricks. Running behind their favorite objects would be something they would cherish, since such tricks would act much better in keeping them active, rather than formal training sessions. This would not only keep them happy, but would also entice them to actively participate in activities, and at the same time, would take care of their need for daily exercise. 6. Taking care of Ross Cat Cats need to have a good balance in protein, carbohydrates, minerals, and nutrients. There are wet and dry cat foods on the market, and portions of both are necessary. Wet food is good for protein and dry food keeps their teeth healthy. But if you stick with only one kind, your cat can get sick more often. Just serving wet food could mean that their teeth will be more prone to gum disease, and feeding them just dry food could cause problems with their kidneys. Cats generally need clean water daily, and more so when they eat dry cat food. Always keep water in a clean bowl close enough to the food. Ensure that the bowl is cleaned at least once a day to ensure that it does not collect germs, which could make your cat ill. Cats are extremely hygienic and hate dirty sand. Very few people think of the litter box as part of a cat's health issues. Always ensure that the litter box remains clean, with new sand every day. Cats tend to use other parts of the house as a potty if their litter box is too dirty. Some cats' feces can be dangerous to humans and can contain many diseases. Always wash your hands after handling the litter box. Also, make sure that the litter box is kept separate area away from the food and water bowls. 7. Ross Cat's Social Attention Needs Cats in general tend to require a lot of attention. Owners who are home often or are able to participate in activities with this cat breed will be delighted. Try to spend 10 to 15 minutes actively involved with this breed several times a day. Daily exercise will help maintain its body weight and keep its muscles toned and strong. Toys are important to allow the cat to stay active and engaged. 8. Ross Cat's Environment Most cats are active, especially as kittens. To ensure that they get enough exercise it is best to spend time with them and allow them to roam throughout the home. Cats love the outdoors but can get lost and pick up diseases. This is something you need to decide on, but keep in mind that cats that are only allowed to stay indoors need a lot of human attention. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.